In the thick darkness of the forest floor, the weird column of anxious humanity passed in solemn silence before assembling into a loose-knit body in the space offered by the woodland clearing. A few minutes passed before the village elder, an ancient man of around 70 years, caught up with the rest of the group and stepped before them to speak. Look around you at these ancient trees, exclaimed the old man, who aimed his crooked walking stick in the direction of the tallest of the wizened boughs thereabout, and you will see that our guardians against our present doom, our bodily protectors, are already all about us. Several of the men looked at one another, and the stabler's man made a cockeyed expression behind the old man's back, which elicited a hushed, nervous chortle amongst the others, before verbalising his ridicule. If only the French battalions will be as afraid of a few old trees as you, that would be very convenient for us. But I am afraid their army is made up of fierce young men, young like us. And do we look afraid of these trees? A murmur of assent swelled up at this reasoning. And what's worse, they'll be coming through here at any time on their way to Tortosa. The latest dispatches tell us they are already making urgent preparations for a siege. Yet the Patriarch seemed to have anticipated this argument and continued confidently. When I was younger, during the time of Carlos III, we heard a story from a soldier who had just returned from Naples, which had just been conquered for the glory of the Spanish crown. He told us that during the bitter campaigns to quell pockets of local resistance in the villages inland of Sorrento, where hardy Italians refused to cede ground even in the face of sure destruction, Reports began to circulate about terrible phantoms, demons, haunting the ancient hill forests of the Vesuvius. Around the campfire, stories began to spread about a platoon of men having been ambushed by such a huge monster, wrapped in its death shroud, gurgling and yawning and scaring the soldiers half to death as they scrambled in retreat.